Bing bong. Welcome to the Cineboys Podcast. Guys, guys, guys. Y'all look handsome. Y'all, you feeling handsome? I feel, I feel pretty. That is great. Well, again, welcome to the Cineboys Podcast. We are part of the Cork Bats Podcast Network. If you are listening on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, thank you so much. Please consider subscribing, telling a friend, um, rating, reviewing, all that good stuff. Uh, that goes a long way for us. If you are watching on the Cork Bats YouTube page, also, thank you so much. Please consider subscribing to the Cork Bats YouTube page. We uh, It goes a long way for us, and you get all your great Cork Bats internet content, video content. It's a great channel. Check it out. Um, I am Kenny. I'm one of the co-hosts of the Cineboys podcast. Uh, I am joined, as always, by my three other co-hosts. Not always, but like for the most part, we're all here, uh, starting with Kevin. Kevin, uh-huh. how are you? I'm good. Good. I was thrilling to go first. Uh, yeah. What are you big on? Mm. So this week, I'm a little behind the times, but um, I've been catching up on Ted Lasso the last uh, week or so. You stole mine, you bastard. Oh, my God. It's so good. Uh, I, I finished season one last night, um, and I've moved on to season two. And I don't want to be a complainer, but uh, why the hell aren't they all released at once? That kind of destroyed my weekend when I saw that they were yeah. releasing one week at a time i was uh pretty bummed but if you haven't watched ted lasso do yourself a favor watch it um i'm not a positive guy i like i'm what they like to say is a uh, you know i'm i'm, I'm pessimistic but uh, curmudgeon yeah curmudgeon but um i think i think uh, jason zanakis is gonna make me uh, he's gonna make an optimist optimist out of me somehow i don't yes. know how but he's doing it it's it, amazing it's so great and it's such a bummer whenever we finish the episode on friday oh. it's like oh, i didn't realize nothing else to watch i was just like gonna plan on keep binging them and then it just like didn't play the next one and i was like hold up what and it, it destroyed me for a minute yeah <laughs> didn't work out no. well dang it i feel took- like mm-hmm. i feel like for ted lasso there also needs to be a psa because i i did the same thing i binged it all this week with kate uh-huh. And we are all caught up now. And everything everyone told me was it's all positive. And it is. It's great. But it's also so freaking real. So, oh, yeah. like, it's human. Mm-hmm. But, like, I, I, I just went in there expecting it to be rainbows and butterflies. And it's not all rainbows and butterflies. So just know that going into it. Yeah, but it's if also you haven't not, started it yet. It's not super dark. It's not super dark, no, but it's no, super it's, it's, real. Yeah, it's, it's real. more about what it's very being real. positive can do for others around you, which is just sounds corny. But man, when maybe we need that. I just thought it was all rainbows and butterflies and then you're smacked with real life things. Right. Which which is good. You need that in in the shows too cuz too much of the positivity. Amy them. was gone on Friday night and so I was watching most of it by myself and there was a scene where he'd like just burst through a door really aggressively and I I spit uh, beer out of my mouth i started laughing <laughs> just alone just beer everywhere <laughs> what does he say there's one joke in this week's episode where he talks about uh uh <laughs> i don't even remember i'm not even trying to try to spoil it but yes watch ted lasso it's a great show um, the welcome song that killed me no he, he says some sort of joke about wearing a red hat at a planned parenthood oh <laughs> 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 that made me laugh pretty yeah. hard anyways oh, well, that's great. I love it. Thanks for stealing mine. Uh, okay, well, let's jump forward in time into the future. Let's go to the East Coast. Mob, what's going on, man? Not a lot. Okay, what are you big on? Uh, doorbell cameras. Ooh. Yeah. What happened? Like, Very big on doorbell cameras. So me and my wife and my dog, were all asleep. It's 4.45 a.m. We get a <laughs> on the door. We're like, what? It's 4.45 a.m. This happened this morning. What's going on? And I'm sitting there like, I'm like, am I going to have to like pull out a baseball bat or something? Uh, do we answer? And then I'm like, oh, wait, we have a doorbell cam. Yeah. So I just pull that little feed up. Some random drunk people got, nice. I guess, dropped off at our house, which was the incorrect house. <laughs> and they're out there trying to get in our house, banging on the door. And I'm just sitting there watching it like, what is going on? I don't know who these people are. She was wearing a Bucks championship shirt already in mm. the middle of Kentucky. Like I, I don't know, but I was very in that moment. Like, cause if I didn't have the doorbell camera, 
I'm not going to know if there's someone who's there who's trying to bust in the house, but because I was able to pull it up, I'm like, ah, it's just some drunk fools trying to get in the wrong house who have the wrong door number or whatever. Because she rang the doorbell and then she like turned around to her boyfriend or husband or whoever she was with because uh, at one point she slapped his butt and his ding dong. Um, so we have video evidence of that. And uh, nice. that we'll guy. put we'll put yeah. that on our page. Yeah. Cork bats. Here can we you, come. Yeah. Can you actually send me? The, do you have it recorded? Uh, yeah, I'll have to get it off of like the actual thing. But we have video. I have video evidence of her coming up and like <laughs> groping him. Nice. <laughs> yes. This so rope, rope a dope, baby. That's awesome. So do you have Huge. the one? It has audio too, so you can hear them, yep. right? Okay. Oh yeah. Did, can you? She was, can you talk back to them? Could have, but it was 4.45 in the morning and I wasn't functioning well. And I was like, just hoping that our house wasn't getting broken into. I would have been like, I'm like you don't leave. live here. Please go yeah. away. You're not at the right we house. Sh I should have just like turned on the deter button because you can get the deter button. Like mm -hmm. there's a deter and it has oh. like a robot voice that'll say, go away. <laughs> oh, and that's, that's what awesome. I should have done. But again, 4.45 in the morning, wasn't fully thinking about it. I actually was like, I looked at the clock and I was like, Kate, why aren't you up yet? You have to go to work. I thought it was Monday. Mm. <laughs> yeah. oh. Well, hey, good news. It's not. Well, yeah. technically, if you're listening to this or watching it, it is. it is Monday. But, okay, well, dang. Good thing you have that ring camera. All right, moving on. Tom, looks like you mm -hmm. are a little sleepy. A little bit, but I feel fine. That's good. I'm glad you feel fine. What are you big on? Oh, bing, bang, boom, baby. Uh, this week, I am big on... Uh, so, Leanne Bridges released a new album on Friday, I believe. Listen to it. It's very good. Selena. I, oh, Le, oh, Le, Leon, Leon Bridges. Leon Bridges. Got it. I don't think it's my favorite one, but um, it is very enjoyable. It's very smooth. Okay. And just good, easy listening to. I like smooth. Um, yeah. So that's my big on. That's awesome, man. I'm really, I'm really happy for you. I'll tell you what I'm big on this week. Hold up. Okay. Uh, Ken, what are you big on? Well, I was going to say Ted Lasso, but I am going to just say it, and it's pretty generic big on because I hadn't had it in long, in like um, over a month since I had this. Um, pizza. Like, you guys know about pizza, right? Yeah, I, I had it Friday. Oh my God. Heard of it. It's so good. <laughs> like, I had some good pizza the other night, and it was just like, oh, I don't know. It was just on hit. It. Where from? Pray tell. It was yeah. from. Uh, it was from DeSano's. It was a sounds just good. a good old fashioned uh, margarita pizza, mm. just you know with the cheese and the basil. Oh, it was fantastic. You're just describing regular pizza. <laughs> I know, but like, I haven't had like shitty junk food or like pizza in like a month, and so Rag. it was like, yeah. yeah, it was like it, I don't know. It just hit different. <laughs> It hit different. It was like, oh, man. I did not feel well about an hour after. It felt like there was something just lodged in my stomach. But, worth it, though. Yeah, 100% worth it. Can't wait till the next Good. pizza night in, in, four, in four weeks. Anyways, enough about that. There's a lot of stuff going on this week. We got a lot of headlines. Look, we don't have a main segment tonight, today. Whenever you're listening to this, whatever time of day it is, at this moment in time, we don't have a, a main segment. We just got a lot of headlines we got to get to and a big announcement. Are you guys excited for the big announcement today? Yeah. Yes. Tom is. Kevin is. Mob, maybe. Okay. You'll never know. Well, before we get into the, the headlines, why don't we take a look at our box office numbers? You guys good with that? Great with it. Okay, here we go. So coming in number one this week, making sixteen point five million dollars at the box office, uh, is old. M Night Shyamalan's new movie. Our theaters dead. They might be dead again. <laughs> again. <laughs> then again, but, uh, or there's just be. nothing to be excited about right now. <laughs> yeah. Then again, I don't know if a ton of people were wanting to go see old, but uh, obviously not. Some, I did not there see some good great Twitter reviews memes about it. There's some good Twitter it's memes. very, very 50 50 is like everything I've read. It's like either you are super intrigued by it or you think it is absolute shit. I feel like the trailer gives the whole thing away. Right. Yeah. Like everybody just, just gets old. Doesn't the name of the mystery. movie is old. Oh. You just yeah. get old. That's all there is to Not it. intrigued by it. It strikes me as another um, The Happening. I, I've heard it's not as bad. Okay. That's good. 
which could be good or bad. I mean, happening is so good because it's so bad. So, I don't know. Um, and then, yeah, coming in number two this week, uh, $13.4 million at the box office is Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origins, which, mm-hmm. man, I can't, I, I don't think I've ever been not excited for a movie as I am for Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origins. But who's who keeps asking for G.I. Joe movies? Yeah, I watched the first G.I. Joe movie for some reason, and it was not good. Not good. How many are there? I don't know. But all I Three remember is there were robot fish. Is this like the, the, the third one? one? I don't know. I feel like there's at least three. I don't know. Wasn't Channing Tatum in one of them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Am I making it that was. up? But I think it's three. The Rock was in one of them. Four. It was really? Who, they, who's seeing these? There's four G.I. Joe movies? Are we talking yep. about the animated movie? from G.I. Joe! Hold on. I don't know. I, I just I Googled G.I. Joe movies, and four of them came up. You have G.I. Joe, Rise of the Cobra. That was, Rise that of was Cobra. live action, yeah. G.I. Joe, Retaliation, Snake Eyes, and I guess Ever Vigilant is the other one, but that one might, I guess, be a uh, Never heard of that movie. One. Oh, no, it's rumored. Rumored. So, uh, it's rumored. so there will in be four. Production. So there will be four. So they're going to keep making them. Right. Yeah. Okay. Why? Hmm. Yeah. Who knows? I couldn't tell you. Yeah, who cares? I, I don't think I've ever been, except for like a franchise, maybe like the Divergent franchise, I wasn't as excited for as I am G.I. Joe. I think I'd rather watch Runner. Divergent than G.I. Joe. I'd rather watch Maze Runner. I'd rather watch neither of them. I'm not well, interested at all. Like at all. I don't care. We don't care. Let it be known that the Cineboys podcast does not care about G.I. Joe movies. If you, if you want to make a movie based off of an action figure toy of our generation, give me a Stretch Armstrong movie. Yeah. Or Furby. Or uh, Furby. Or a, Furby. No, Furby. that's a Furby horror movie. movie. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have a... So I bought... Uh, my brother and I bought Furbies when we were like, I don't know, six or seven. Right. And they were the ones that talked to you. And uh, the first night we got them, just like in the middle of the night, it would just go... Furby, <laughs> and it was nope, terrifying. And we threw him in the trash. Don't that like waste, it. Waste of money. Yeah, Pump that okay. thing to the moon. Yeah, man. Yeah, put that on that blue origin. They still make. Or whatever. They still make Furbies, right? Like it's still a popular thing. The only Furby I want is the Guy Fieri Furby. <laughs> I got my sister a Chewbacca uh, Furby for Christmas like three or four years ago. That that, that makes sense. Three or four years like, ago, Chewbacca. Yeah. Had, Furby. And it was it was expensive, man. Like it wasn't yeah. cheap. They still make Furbies and now they have an app that you can connect to it. That makes oh. sense. That's that makes, makes a lot of sense. plenty of sense, yeah. like as the evolution yeah. of the Furby, but it doesn't make me want one anymore. Yeah. How much are they? I might buy one for one of you guys and not tell you which one. If you not buy a Furby a podcast. Furby, if you buy a Furby, I'll put it back there on the I mean if it's under on display. How much? How much would a Furby have to cost for me to buy it? I'm pretty sure the one I bought my sister was eighty dollars. Yes, Ooh, the Star Wars Furbaka is seventy seven sixty nine at Walmart. What a just? What about a normal Furby that I could dress up with like a Guy Fieri like flame shirt on my own? That's a good idea. Just a little flame shirt. Okay. Then, anyways, like, we haven't even gotten through all the box <laughs> office numbers yet. Here we are talking about Furbies. Okay. Here, here we go. Coming in number three this week, eleven point six million dollars at the box office. Black Widow, way to go. Still in there. I'm surprised it's not higher up. To be honest, it should be. Yeah. Of these a, three, it seems like it. Would, movies. It should still be yeah. the better one. I think so many people saw this the opening couple weekends that, like, I don't know. This if you're gonna see a movie opening weekend, it's gonna be that one. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. I. It, it, yeah, it just wasn't. I don't think there was any movie came, that came out this week that was exciting enough to like really pack in a theater. Plus, now everywhere it seems to be restricting again due to this virus. No, you don't live in Missouri, dude. Well, <laughs> oh, I guess you guys aren't restricting. No, St. Louis County is. People don't care. Way to stay strong, baby. Way to yeah, stay I mean, strong. We will. We'll have to eventually, but. Uh... I, I bet once the college kids come back and start giving it to each other again, we'll probably have to <laughs> giving it to each other. Giving it to each other. <laughs> yeah. 
Nice. Anyway, what's on the horizons, Ken? Anyways, that's it for box office numbers. Maybe next week we'll get something big. What's what's the thirtieth? What's coming out next week? Jungle Cruise. Uh, Gross. Oh man. Which I kind of want to see. No way. Is that nope. weird? Yep. Yeah. Very. I think it's still water. Fun. The Green I don't Knight. Care about that either. Oh, I, I do want to see Green Knight. Knight. I do want to see that. When's that come out? Third, next week. Next Friday. It's really? gonna be the oh, only movie. Baby. It's, it's gonna be the only movie that Ragtag is showing for like two weeks. I looked it up because the virus. I need to go. I need to go back to I Ragtag. Don't, I don't know if that's it because like currently they're showing like two or three movies at a time. But I looked up uh, Ragtag the other day, and for like the whenever this Green Knight movie comes out, like that's all they're showing for like. The next Somebody's two weeks. really excited about that. Surprises me. Ragtag. I was yeah. surprised too, but it's, as of now, like as of now, it looks movie. like the only one. Maybe they're just running low on stuff to show. Yeah. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Well, guys, like I said, we got we got a lot of news this week. A lot of new headlines. A lot of exciting things announced. Um, starting with, and I, I, I'm sure you guys saw this, but apparently Jordan Peele has a new movie coming out. Nope. No. Yes. <laughs> Shut down. Yes. <laughs> nope. Yes. Nope. Yes. He does. Nope. Someone, someone nope. give me an answer. What's happening? It's called Nope. Nope. Oh, yeah. Because nope. mom keeps saying Nope. I should have been looking at the screen. That makes yeah. sense. <laughs> yeah, next time look at the screen. Okay. Mm. Okay. Well, um, yeah, so nobody knows what it's about, but it has of course. Daniel Kaluuya, Stephen Yoon, Kiki Palmer. The the cast, I'm, I, I'm, I'm just happy already. that Steven Yoon's going to bounce back after Space Jam. <laughs> yeah. Can, can we all just appreciate how Jordan Peele consistently announces movies and everyone never knows what they're about, but they're right. always in? I think, I think that's like, a great tactic. How awesome is that? Yeah. But like, not everyone, not, not everyone can get away with that. And Jordan Peele nope. consistently is like, and I guess this is just nope. his third one, but it's just like, here's, here's the poster. What's it about? Not no one knows. Tell you. Can you tell me? Nope. <laughs> nope. But I'm for it. I'm excited. Comes out a year from last Thursday. See, th- I have a problem with that. Don't even tell me about it in a year. Like a year? Yeah, that's I do. Oh, we're for sure going to forget really, about it. Like, I really what? don't like that. It just, yeah. That's that's too far. It's got to be minimum or maximum amount of time is like six months six in months. my brain to even think about. Preferably three months, but... I understand yeah. why that wouldn't work. It's absolutely going to be, um, yeah, we're going to forget about it. And yeah, after this, after we talk, stop talking about it today, yeah, we will I'll not remember, remember about anything about it until it comes out. Guaranteed. Agreed. Here's an interesting nugget. For Nope, the uh, lead role was offered to Jesse Plemons, but he had to turn it down to due to scheduling conflicts with his movies killers of the flower moon Ooh, uh, that i'm so excited shooting at the same time yeah. man what's it like to be wanted by scorsese and uh jordan peele, jordan peele at the same time i bet that's a nice feeling nice. he's really found it's himself nice to a be nice wanted. little like a nice little like gig in hollywood somehow yeah well i mean did you see his performance in like mike yeah have you seen friday <laughs> night lights bro great point my great point Oh, yeah, Landry man. killed a guy. No Speaking spoilers. Speaking of Texas football, <laughs> SEC? Maybe. Horns down. Hook them, baby. Not a sports podcast, but. I actually uh, would love for Mizzou to get to play Texas again because then I could go down and visit my good friend Kenny. Yes, who lives I, in Austin. As far as like, I feel like there's like arguments to be made about like money and like sponsors and like all that, all that stuff with Texas and OU joining the SEC, but like selfishly it's like yes i want a mizzou football game i want to go to mizzou basketball games in austin Make it happen. sweet that'd be cool yeah anyways not a sports podcast so jordan peele great new movie sure it'll be good here's let's talk about something that's a little bit closer a little bit sooner in the schedule uh that i am so excited about but i also have a theory that is probably gonna bomb everybody out about it but we got character posters this week for Dune. Yeah. Let me put these up here. They there you go. Look sweet. They look dope. And I finished reading the book. And oh. it is okay. Big time. Here's the thing. You only got like eighty five more books to go. Yeah. 
<laughs> um, it is going. I don't. Here, here's my theory, and it's not a great theory. I think this movie will be perfect. I think it will be amazing in every way. I think it'll get amazing reviews. It'll be like nothing we've ever experienced in a theater before, and it's not going to make any money. You think? I don't think anyone's going to go see it because people don't care about Dune, right? And it's a lot. But it just looks so cool. It looks awesome. But then again, Blade Runner looked awesome. Twenty forty nine. That's true. Nobody it's went very saw similar. It. You're right. And I, so, do, I do think there could be a like a scenario where there's like a ninety ish percent critic score on Rotten Tomatoes, and you look at the audience, and it's like in the sixties. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, it's a it's dense. Now yeah. it is supposed to be two movies, so it's supposed to be Doom Part One and Doom Part Two. But my what my fear is that they're going to release mm-hmm. this first movie. And then they're going to be like, this did not make enough money to warn us. Did not make the second one. And then they won't make it. I mean, sure it costs a lot of money to make. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, it looks it expensive. It costs a ton of money to make this movie. <laughs> yeah. Here's the one thing that it's got going for it, though. Other than the fact that I think it's going to be awesome. I'm talking about, like, the one thing it's got going for it for the general public is that it has a lot of people in it that are very big yeah. names. Um, yeah, you so the hopefully biggest. that will be the saving grace. But we got those character posters, and then we also got the, the new trailer, um, which, did you guys see the trailer? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. Decided oh, not yeah. To watch oh, it. yeah. I decided not to watch it, because uh, so for movies that I'm really looking forward to, sometimes I don't want to... I don't want to see anything. I can't that do that. I, I have to. I, I have to get every little bit that I can. Yeah, I feel like they um, they use it as an opportunity to really pack it full of context and plot. Because again, Dune is like a really good book, but it's, it's not intellectual. Like, right. It's not on the level of like Lord of the it's, Rings or like. It's not easy to read, and mm-mm. and it's not like it's rewarding in that you have finished it, but it's yes. not like it's yeah. I had audiobooked it. I couldn't even read it because I'm stupid. I need someone to like <laughs> say the words to me and make nice. voices to keep me interested, which mm-hmm. thank you, Audible. Um, but no, it's it's super dense. And it's like, imagine uh, Game of Thrones in space, but it's all packed into one movie or two movies. Like Game of Thrones, you have the, there's a lot going on in Game of Thrones, but you have the benefit of it being spread out and you can follow the story a little bit better. We're like, dude, it's like you got, you got to keep up. It would have made an awesome short series. Yes. Well, it like it was already episode. a mini series in the early two thousands. Well, yeah. And it was shitty. It, it was, was bad. Good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no. And the the original movie. Real really bad. bad. <laughs> really bad. Looks terrible. It makes no sense. So. Uh, I, there's no doubt in my mind that this movie will be good. It will make sense, and it will you will be able to follow it. However, I don't think there's going to be enough interest from like the general public for it to make enough money to make a sequel. I think that it could have. I think this is one of the ones where it being on HBO Max may hurt its uh chances its chances at box office numbers, which may actually help people to watch it. Unlike Blade Runner, where yeah. yeah. Blade Runner, I I loved Blade oh, Runner. But you've got to see this is a kind Absolutely of movie you have it. to see in a see it. just like Blade Runner. Everything but, I, everything I've seen so far is that they I know that, that you can go see some sort of preview for Dune in IMAX right now. That's like ten minutes long. It's like the first ten minutes of the movie. Um, and everyone who's seen it has been like, this is going to be a masterpiece. Like there is nothing that has ever been made like this movie. So not to hype it up. So my hopes are, it's, but it's Denny. V- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, like yeah, if you look, yeah. Right, right. If you Denny. look, if you Denny look me. at his his run, prisoners, awesome, great. Enemies didn't see it. Sure, it's great. But Sicario, Sicario is awesome. Oh, awesome. Love Sicario. Arrival, Arrival's amazing. No awesome. Blade Best Runner, picture. Blade Runner, awesome. And then Dune. Like the yeah. the guy knows what he's doing. Dude, and if you talk about visually stunning well. movies, like all of those have some sort of like the visuals play such a huge part in them. Right. And I I I have so much faith in him to make this movie. And then also he has the confidence to come out and say like, and he has said this whenever uh, HBO announced that they're going to release all their movies this year. Uh, or excuse me, Warner Brothers announced they're going to release all their movies on HBO Max this year. 
he came out and said, this is the best movie I've ever made. <laughs> like, that was the quote. This is the best movie I've ever made, and people need to go see it in a theater. When is the release date? Uh, October, October 22nd. Oh, that's so far yeah. away. Dog's ear. Um, October's going to be a great month for movies. October is going to be good. October, it's not that far away. We're almost out of July. It's like three so months. Two full good months. Night. Yeah, okay. It is three ah, months. but it's so hot. Time moves slow when it's hot. It does, doesn't it? I almost melted <laughs> yesterday. It was horrible. It's over a hundred here today. That's awful. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty hot today. Um, yeah. So look, be on the lookout for Dune, and, and hopefully, you know what? Go see it. Like, if you like movies and you're listening to this podcast and you're on the fence about it, take our damn word for it. It's gonna be awesome. You're gonna yeah. love it. There, yeah. we did our part. Now people just need to go see it. All right. Well, the only other thing that we have, as far as like news goes, is like again, big news. You can't. This week was big, but we finally got the trailer for uh, the Last Duel, which stars uh, Matt and Ben, and then also America's Man. sweetheart Adam Driver. I can't wait. Just it give him the great. Oscar now. I give don't care now. what he does in the movie. As Give him the Oscar I, now. He deserves it. As soon it. as I saw him in full like night gear, I was like, "Holy shit!" My yeah. favorite, my He's favorite part of it is, is you see Ben and Matt, and they made him get different haircuts. But then Adam <laughs> Driver comes in, and he's got his long, luscious yep. <laughs> uh, black hair. Like they were just like, "No, you stay, you, Matt, yep. Ben, You're get mullets." I will say, and I said this the other day, <laughs> I do worry about mostly about Ben Affleck being in the movie now. I think he is a great actor. I just think he's real hit or miss with the movie choices that he ends up doing. Like some movies he's in are shit. Ah, he's yeah. on a hot streak right now. He's sometimes he's in movies that are great. He's with J Lo. And I don't know. He's back with J Lo. Think about and the I movies just, he made. I when just he was don't. I just don't know if I see him as like a knight or a king or whatever he's supposed to be. Okay. Think about the movies he made when he was with J Lo in the early two thousands, though. Geely, uh, that Dare, movie was garbage. Daredevil. Jersey girl. You guys are not helping the point. No, I watched uh, some of all point. fears last night. That was okay. Yeah. All right. You watched some of all fears last night. It was on Netflix. All right. Why not? That's what's up. That's sometimes what's up. I like to be taken back to the late '90s, early 2000s. You know, this was just not a good week for new stuff. Can we just sometimes let's be honest happens. about it? In theaters, on demand, all the stuff. Other than Ted Lasso. But you only get 30 minutes of Ted Lasso. Uh, yeah. Anyways. But also, Last Duel, directed by uh, Ridley Scott. So, I like again, him. here's like, the thing with Ridley Scott. Could I be feel hit like or miss. He makes a, he'll make one really, really good movie, and then yes. the next movie he makes will be really bad. Ridley Scott knows how to make an awesome trailer and then under-deliver on the, the product. That's a good point. His trailers are usually incredible, yeah. and I'm usually psyched, and then the reviews come out, and I'm like, ah. Yeah. But, like... Yep. Yeah. You want to talk about a busy, what is he, 80-year-old? Yeah. Is He's he got The old? Last Duel coming out. He's 83 years old. He has two movies What? And then The House of Gucci. Yeah. Like, also I would have guessed, like... Right. I don't like think I've heard about so that So here's yet. the thing. Is one going to be amazing and one going to be just garbage? Could be. Or are they both just going to be and middling? Which which will be which? Mm. I, think, I think if you have Adam Driver in a movie, it can't be bad. I'm for that. I'm for that take. That's a yeah. hot take, but Is Adam Driver. Though? I watched, uh, we watched, uh, uh, what's that movie? Gosh, it, the long title. Oh, This Is Where I Leave You from 2014. <laughs> and it's got Bateman and Tina Fey and yeah. uh, all these people. And it was like Adam Driver's, like one of his first movies. And it's like, this movie's not that good, but damn it, Adam Driver is amazing. <laughs> Just put him in every movie. He makes every movie better. In, name the movie. Name a movie. Go. What was the one about it's like Star name Wars? A woman. Name a, yeah, put Adam Driver in Star Wars. It's instantly better. That Liam Neeson movie where he was like a missionary and he was really silent for a long time. Uh, silence. 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 That was really good. Yeah. <laughs> hey, nailed it. What's that, what's that song about grandma getting <laughs> run over by a reindeer? <laughs> Grandma got run over by a reindeer. No, no that's not it. No, no, not that one. That's what just happened, and it was Kevin who did it. Yeah. What was the silent movie? I honestly, couldn't remember. <laughs> I just he just didn't talk a lot. You know. Yeah. Well, yeah, a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. A lot, lot coming down the pipe. Um, you know. So, 
check out your local movie theater and keep abreast of any updates by yeah. following us on Twitter and Instagram at the Cineboys. That's all I've got as far as headlines go. So, Tom, do you got any trivia for this this week? No trivia. I was not inspired by any trivia this week. Uh, but when Tom got, is not inspired, that's a problem. We I got some inspire. anniversaries for us, right, though. Give us some anniversaries, then. You got it. First up, happy five-year anniversary to Jason Bourne. Mm. Wait, hold on. Oh. What? Yeah. The oh, fourth, Jason Bourne. Or fifth. Jason. Yeah. That shitty. That piece of shit. Yeah, saw yeah. that in theaters. Yeah. It was one of my it actually first was not, or second or third dates with Kate. It was actually not the worst experience I'd ever had in the theater because I saw it with my dad, and he would just say hilarious things every <laughs> every so often. It was so, great. So I saw that with Kate. Then we went down to the river, got Chim's, which is a uh, food truck down by the river talk in about, Missouri. Don't, don't, and then, don't talk about food. No, no, no. But here's here's what's crazy about this movie is then we went to uh, Shakespeare's, played Cards Against Humanity, and then ah. Kenny shattered his knee. Yeah. That's, oh, that's Jason Bourne. <laughs> All same the same night. night. Yeah. Wow. That's so it's been five day. years since I shattered my knee. That's how we can remember that. That's crazy. That's great. Huh. That's great. I went to, speaking of which, it's doing pretty well. Just to give you an update, five years later. I still don't have full mobility, but I went to, I got like a really nice massage the other day. And Ooh. Yeah, it was, it was nice. Anyways, continue. All right. Happy 10 year anniversary to Cowboys and Aliens. Oh, that's such a good which movie. Is a solid movie. I was going to say it was not good, but. No, it's right. not good, hey. but it's fun. No, it's so much fun. It's so entertaining. I like it. I saw it in theaters. It was interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, fine. Cool. Happy 25 year anniversary to Kingpin. Great movie. Mm. Uh, I thought mm. that movie was going to be about bowling. It Kinda still is, is about bowling. No, I know it is. <laughs> that's, a, that's an office reference. Go back, watch it later. It's fine. I just watched <laughs> or the scene whenever it's. Oh, never mind. I'm not going to quote movies. I'm just going to screw it up, and then people are like, why is he talking? So, we're, you know what? Don't exactly. worry about it. Well, Tom, thank you for the movie anniversaries. Guys, is there like anything else you need to say? Is there anything else you want to say? Not, not usually, not ever in my life. Do okay. I ever really, do well, I ever really want to say anything? Well, we've but, gotten no. to the point in the episode where we get to make our big announcement. Are you guys excited? Okay, yeah. so here is the announcement for all of you who stayed tuned through the whole episode. We are going live. We're going live. Our podcast will be live starting next week. We Maybe. Maybe. Probably. Yes, it will be live. It's been tested. We make sure everything's working. Um, we gave it a, a dry run last week. Um, everything went smoothly. So we're, we're, we're coming to you live, uh, and it will be Saturdays at 9.30 a.m. It's going to be early stream, brunch with the boys. So hop in, 9.30 a.m. on Saturday morning. Um, we will be recording the podcast, and you can hang out with us, join the chat. Uh, and you can find us on the Cork Bats YouTube page. That's where we will be live every week, every Saturday morning at 9.30. You got that? Mob's writing it down, I can tell. You guys are not. Tom and Fine. Kevin are not writing it down. Mob is taking Log. notes. Mob, you, you're the best boy today. Thank you. Best boy. Thank you. Which is a movie Dang. term. Darn it. Did you know that? I don't know what a best boy does, but it, if you watch the credits of a movie, there's always a best boy. Well, we got to look it up. Yeah best boy anyways thank you so much for listening again uh we're your Cine boys podcast we're part of the cork bats podcast network uh you uh please subscribe if you had any any sort of fun listening to this today google Podcasts, mm-hmm. apple Podcasts, spotify rate review subscribe tell a friend tell two friends all that good stuff if you're watching on the cork bats youtube page again please subscribe um and comment write a review all yeah, right, and stuff. to end this episode, I'll read you the definition of best boy. Okay. Best boy in a film crew, there are two kinds of best boy. Best boy electric and best boy grip. Uh, nice. They are assistants to their department heads. Uh, so Mob gets best boy grip this week. <laughs> okay, and, who gets uh, best yeah. boy electric? Nobody. I think no I get it every week because of all the tech I've got for going on right here. All right, that's fair. There we go. Um, so it's a, it's an ele- I assume it's electricity term. Some sort of electrician. Know. You know, Wikipedia is Wikipedia. Doesn't give you too much. Okay, great. Um, well, guys, thank you for joining me. 
Again, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at the Cineboys. Uh, f- feel free to anim- email us, the Cineboys Podcast at gmail.com. But we are done. Bye, y'all. Later. Recording stopped. Thank you.